Yo, salute, salute, man. It's the guy that Kevin speaks. And we back out here with another video, Educated Fitness, when we out here doing street interviews, talking to real people who are changing their lives in real time. And today is no different. I'm here with my guy, Dre, man. Yo, Dre, tell him a little bit about yourself, man. It's Andre, Stay Creative 96 on all platforms. And I'm here with Kevin Speaks to tell you about my journey and how I got here right now. Absolutely, man. Now, mm -hmm. if he looks familiar, it's because you have seen this gentleman before. He's been on Broly Gaines' page. He's been on Goku Pump's page, man. Mm -hmm. And he's an aspiring saying, a.k.a. Majin, Majin Buu. Buu. But yeah. we're going to get there. We're going to get there soon. We're going to get there soon. But today, we wanted to talk with Dre a little bit about his fitness journey. Because if you can tell, and as you can tell, he talks to bigger gentlemen about not making excuses, about not stagnating themselves. So, Dre, could you tell us a little bit about your fitness journey personally? My fitness journey, it, it really started in 2020. Mm. When I was, pandemic happened. My, I didn't have a job anymore, laid off and stuff. And I hit the scale and I was 384. Mm. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, nah, this can't be true. Oh, man. It can't be true. And I was looking at my friends and stuff and I was like, yo, I'm 384 pounds. And they was like, yeah, no. <laughs> Shit, look, no. look, that's, that'll do it. <laughs> we know. And then that's when that, that, it just clicked. And I was like, yo, let me go to YouTube. Let me find the videos and stuff. And I found um, Sean G, Kevin Speaks, Riley, Akeem, Scott, all of them. And this park right here at Wingate yeah, in Columbus. And I just, that's what got me started. That's what got me started. Man, and what's crazy about that is I love to hear that because that's why we do stuff like that, right? So to hear that you were a subscriber mm -hmm. who started to change your life by watching us, and now we right here in this moment, we was talking about that a little bit off camera, about how nothing happens by chance, nothing is a coincidence. So brother, let me tell you, let me ask you actually, for bigger gentlemen, right, who are sitting here thinking, I can't go up on the bars, I can't do push-ups, I can't do pull-ups, how did you push through and what would you sort of tell them to encourage them? Just keep it simple. Don't mm. overthink shit. Just keep it simple. If you can't do a pull up, you can do inverted. If you can't do an invert, start off with push up on your knees. Compound movements. Mm. Um, squats. Everybody can do squats. Everybody. Uh, treadmill. Walking. Start off simple. 30 minutes a day. Everybody's got 30 minutes. And I love that, see, and the reason I love that is because we're breaking it down, right? You you don't have to be able to do everything you see people be able to do. Make it work for you. Make it work for you. So let me so let me ask you, how has your diet changed? So what has your journey been like? So you started working out, right? How much weight have you lost, if you don't mind me asking, and since, how has uh, diet contributed to that? Uh, since 2020, January, I posted it on my Instagram, officially 100 pounds, steady. 100 so down, pounds? 100 pounds, so oh, 384 man. to right now, 294, 295, and it's right there. So now it's just about building the muscle, learning new exercise, learning from these guys, and keep going. Stop. So, Stop. so, so, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if you heard what he said, but I heard what he said. He's down a hundred pounds already. A hundred pounds. So, let me ask you: In 2020, what were you doing? Because this gentleman started his fitness journey, and he's down a hundred pounds. Because the time is gonna pass anyway. The real question is: Is how are you utilizing it? And I'm extremely humbled that he keeps highlighting gentlemen like Broly, myself. But he's doing it. He's doing it. He went from watching us to now he's out here. He's putting in that work. Putting in the work. And you and you guys definitely need to follow this gentleman. Can I ask you before we get up out of here? Because I definitely appreciate your time and you talking to the people. What's something? One last thing you leave them with as they get ready. So someone is watching right now. They're getting ready to start their fitness journey. What would you leave them with? I'm gonna always say this. Just if you're starting, if you're over 300 pounds. If you're over 200 pounds and you're just overweight, obese, keep it simple. Keep it simple. Don't overcomplicate it. You can't do one workout. There's always something. You can't do anything. You can 
What I love about what he's saying is it reminds me of smart goals, right? We want to we wanna set goals that are feasible, things that are attainable so we could actually see progress. But there's no such thing as changing everything completely overnight. It's a process and you have to wean yourself off of bad habits. Your brother, I want to thank you so much for the time that it took to do this. Yeah, so ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you can find my brother there. We got my guys around here. Everybody's working yeah. out putting in paint. Yeah. Tell them one more time where they can find you. Stay Creative 96 on all platforms, YouTube, Instagram, TikTok, everything. All right, thank you, brother. Thank you. We out.